Hi everybody, welcome back. I have a pretty personal topic today, but I know it's something that's not only affecting me and my own life, but something that's definitely affecting everyone because in some way, shape or form, we're all putting ourselves out on the internet in some way. So whether we're Instagramming what we ate for dinner or we're sharing our latest outfit or we're tweeting about what we're doing on Friday night, Often, many of us, unless we've completely decided to stay away from social media altogether, most of us in some way, shape or form are putting ourselves out there. And as time has gone on, I've just found myself become more and more comfortable expressing myself, sharing what I'm wearing, sharing what I'm eating and drinking and, and just being more forthcoming about my life. And with that has come some negative backlash and I've seen a lot of negative posts about my weight and negative posts about what I'm eating and negative posts about what I'm wearing and what I'm posting. And, and my immediate response was to really use my own tools and just say forgive and delete or just move on entirely. Um, some of my responses have been, you know, just trying to enjoy the ride, Satnam, you know, and just trying to respond with love. But most recently I found myself um, stumbling upon some comments that really upset me and they got to that place within me where I was just really uncomfortable and angry and wanting to go to that ego place of saying, well, screw you, you know, you're wrong, I'm right, you know, how dare you talk about me this way. And that's really where our ego wants to go. Our ego wants to go to the place of, you know, of hate the haters, right? And, and just completely shun anyone's negative comments. But really the gift in these situations is to use these circumstances as learning opportunities. And so I went through that phase of feeling uncomfortable and being angry and then I came back home and I said, what is it that I need to learn from this? And so I started to go deep within myself and I thought about the comments, and I thought about the, the messaging and I thought about how I may be able to bring more light to my posts and clean up anything that may have been uh, uncomfortable for folks. And, and be really mindful of expressing lovely, enlightening, and inspiring messages, uh, even more than I may have already been doing. And I started to think also about the fact that there was something within me that was feeling as though I needed the approval of others. And that's what this is all about. It's that when we ever have an experience of someone saying, okay, well, you're not good enough, or we don't like what you're doing, that experience of caring so much about what other people think is really just our own feelings of inadequacy. And so I really had to go deeper and recognize that it wasn't the problem about them. It was a problem that I had within that was not allowing myself to just let it go and be at peace. And so through forgiveness work, through the practice of being able to use that universal mirror of looking at how I feel from the experience and learning and expressing what it is that needs to be healed within me so that I can really transcend whatever is thrown at me. And as we all begin to share more and more about ourselves in this universal world of the Twitter sphere and Facebook and Instagram and all the places where we are sharing, we definitely want to be mindful, first and foremost, of sharing high vibe content, as my friend Jenny would say, sharing the high vibe content, so stuff that we know that will make people feel really good. And then as viewers, if my suggestion is if you don't have something nice to say, just don't say it. I think that that there is there's always someone that wants to comment. And I honestly think that that we should all do our best to just put beautiful messaging out into the world and then also do our best to put beautiful comments. And if there's something that's triggering you about someone's post, rather than comment with a nasty remark, think for yourself, what is it within me that's being triggered and why? And so as a poster and as a commenter, let's all just become more mindful of the ways that we treat one another and the ways that we express ourselves so that whatever it is that we're doing is super high vibe and really loving and peaceful. And I, I really, I mean this with all of my heart. I think that there is real need for more positivity in the world and we can all clean up our posts and we can all clean up our comments. So I welcome you to leave a very empowering comment below. Share something about a friend, leave their Twitter handle, tell us who you love, uh, tell us something empowering and loving about yourself. Post a comment below that is just really high vibe, really, really lovely and, and really expressive of something positive so that we can maybe combat some of the negativity that we've been seeing on the internet. And for all of those people who have been having any 
frustration with my comments and posts, I forgive you and I love you and I, and I pray to give you lots of loving content so that you can experience me at my highest capacity and not just me, but learn from whatever it is that I have to share. Uh, so much forgiveness and love. Satnam.